Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blue Snot channel. Today I am back with another Sports Talk Series episode. It's episode number 148 and today I'm about to head to Hillsboro and head to Crystal Spring Upland School to watch my first high school soccer match of the season in the Sports Talk Series episode as it's going to be between Crystal Spring Uplands Griffins versus Urban Blues. Now, if you guys remember all the way back in episode number 11 of the Sports Talk Series episode and exactly two years to this day i actually went to this ground to watch a high school soccer match and i gotta say this is probably one if not my favorite high school soccer ground that i went to out of all the high school so soccer ground that i went in the sports top series episode and now i'm definitely looking forward to going back there to watch a high school soccer match so yeah let's hope we're gonna get a good game today let's go soccer i am here at crystal upland school and by the way i'm actually right here about a minute after the schedule kickoff is so Hoping I didn't actually miss kickoff, but I'm assuming with all those players are still doing their team talk over there on that far side. I think the kickoff haven't started yet, which is good. And obviously the reason why I actually got here a little bit later than I thought is because it's actually not very easy to get up here, especially the fact that there's a lot of narrow road to actually get up here. And since it's a little bit rainy today, which makes it a little bit extra challenge to try to get up here, but it seemed like I just got here on time as the referee is putting the ball in the center circle. So yeah, this is perfect timing for me to get here in the stadium right on time when the kickoff is about to start. Also, there is literally no one here as there's nobody there in the stands. And the referee gets this match underway. Uh, I think Crystal Spring Upland is going to be going all white today, while Urban will be going all blue today, going from right to left. And Crystal Spring Upland, by the way, is going from right to left. But we're underway here on this rainy Wednesday afternoon here in Hillsboro. So correction, it looks like Crystal Spring is going to go all blue today, and Urban is actually going to go all white. Uh, confirmation is from that lady over there when I asked her which team is wearing which color she basically told me that so yeah we have played roughly about two minutes here I also just heard like a bell ring in the background so I'm guessing that's it's pretty much dismissal time for all the students so I'm guessing there should be more people come out to watch this game once all the students are dismissed it looks like Urban have just took in a one nothing lead and Apparently what happened here was an ambitious effort that originally saved by the keeper but the ball kind of trickled out of his hand and as he was trying to maybe clear that one off the line it seems like the linesman says that that one was across the line and that's why it is a goal and remember there is no VAR in high school soccer so we're not gonna have a replay of that and whatever the referee decision is and also the linesman decision in this case well it looks like we are gonna have a penalty here for Crystal Spring and I guess what happened here was when the ball was played in the middle looks like one of the urban defender actually decided to back pass the keeper and then the keeper basically just kind of hang on to the ball and actually it's not going to be a penalty it's actually just going to be kind of a free kick inside the box which is something you don't see very often but this is going to be very interesting to see this being played inside the box and there's actually like seven urban or six urban player right between the lines here i'm guessing they're going to try to act as goalkeeper to try to block this one off instead they're actually going to play it short here and they blast that one over the bar and well this has been a very strange start to this game as we already saw earlier that a goalkeeper kind of fumbled the ball and then as he was trying to clear that one off the line that one actually went in and then we also just saw a couple of seconds ago when a back pass was held on by the goalkeeper and because of that that actually resort into an indirect free kick inside the box almost forgot that that of course is the case since you usually never see that happen so we play a little bit over 12 minutes into this first half and i actually haven't give you guys a little bit information about this match well we're still very early in the high school soccer season uh crystal spring uplands is playing their fourth game today while urban is playing their third game today and both of these teams have kind of had a contrast to their start of the season crystal spring uplands have won their first free game 
while Urban have actually lost their first two games to start the season. But as of now, it's Urban the one that takes the early 1-0 lead. But let's see if Crystal Spring can potentially get an equalizer here before halftime. Today, especially in this very damp and drizzly kind of condition, it's anything but easy as that's a poor giveaway here and it is in the back of the net there as crystal spring has got the equalizer there and well that is a very poor giveaway there from the goalkeeper that basically just gave it to that crystal spring uplands player and that uplands play player basically punished him by putting an absolute thunder strike into the back of the net wow, looks like that player is on side as he's trying to cut in here trying to tee up to his teammate but just hits it a little bit too high there. He's gonna go for goal here, and that again did not miss by much. It's kind of interesting why the referee decided it's gonna be against Crystal Spring. Ball comes in, and it's gonna be over the bar here. And well, he did have a free header, but I think he kind of missed time. He's jumped a little bit, and it's always gonna be hard to try to redirect that one back toward goal if you're in that near side of the post. I'm gonna go short here on the right side. He's trying to flick it into the back post and again it's gonna be over the bar almost at the same area as that last over the top ball into the box but just like last time, it's just gonna go over the bar. Here comes Crystal Spring here as he's trying to go for the curler, and well, that one is just a little bit wide there. Looking to try to drive Dan, but that defender does a great job to stop that, although he just gave that ball away there. As a low driven effort, it's gonna be spilled by the keeper, but looks like that is gonna be. A goal kick here coming up. A game where both teams has some chances. Probably the visitor has more of the chances here early on. Oh, and again, that's a spill by the goalkeeper. And, well, that's the third time the goalkeeper has made an absolute shocking mistake. Well, the corner comes in, and the goalkeeper is able to hang on to that one. And that is the halftime whistle. Halftime here at Crystal Spring Upland School. It is all tied up at one apiece between Crystal Spring Uplands and urban so it's half time here at crystal spring upland school as it's all tied up at one apiece between both of these teams but in many ways urban will be the more disappointed side to not be at least up a goal or two in this game because i really think they have been the better team in this first half and that crystal spring uplands you know they did get the equalizer right in the middle part of the first half but they are very fortunate the fact that they didn't concede more goal here and especially their goalkeeper that has just looked very very shaky here in the first half i mean he commit free goalkeeping howler here in the first half and one of them actually end up to be the opening goal of this game but yeah let's see how this second half is going to play it's going to be all to play for here in the second half and the referee gets the second half underway well it's all to play for here in this game as both team is tied up at one apiece and let's see we're gonna get a winner here in the second half and potentially see another goal here in the second half Corner comes in, it's a low driven corner and it's actually redirected and it is gonna be over the bar there as, well, that one was actually redirect off of one of the Crystal Spring Uplands player, who I don't think he knew a lot about it when he was trying to redirect that one. It kind of just pinned off of his feet. Player could maybe get to that one. It, the goalkeeper was in no man's land here and that one is in the back of the net. There as Urban retakes the lead here. And what a lovely strike that is from that Urban player to slot it home to the left side. And as Urban now retakes the lead at two goals to one. About 29 minutes left here in the second half. By the way, you see all those cars that is parking right near the fence and right near where the people are standing to watch this game. Well, one of the good thing about parking there is that you can basically watch the match from your car and you can basically stay away from the rain while you watch this match. But the problem is when you're parking at that area and since it's just so close to the pitch if there is a ball that actually fly out of play in that area and it flies out with a lot of pace it could potentially damage somebody's car window and pretty much put a dent in their car part 
Nice ball here on the right side. Looking to try to whip it in, and there's a player open there in the back pose, and unfortunately goes over his head. Now the ball whips in again, and it is going to be over the bar as well. That was a golden opportunity for Urban to potentially extend their lead as twice they had a man open in the box and twice they couldn't quite put it into the back of the net. Here's an ensuing corner with eight and a half minutes left and the goalkeeper punched that one out and this one is going to clear all the way. And there's the bus there. It actually hit the Marine Airport bus there. Now they're going to launch it again into the box but it's going to be Gatter by the keeper, but that is the full-time whistle. Full-time here at Crystal Spring Upland School in Hillsborough as Urban gets their first victory of the season by beating the host by a final score of two goals to one. So just finished here at Crystal Spring Upland School and in the end, it was the visitor getting their first win of the season as they beat Crystal Spring Uplands by a final score of two goals to one. And you know, unlike last time where we kind of had this similar score heading into the latter part of the game and that we had a dramatic late penalty that was against the host. This time, there wasn't really kind of like a dramatic moment like we saw last time. And overall, I think it was kind of a very sluggish second half, despite the fact that, you know, Urban did get the goal right in the early part of the second half. And then the rest of the way, it was just kind of both teams struggling to try to go for it on the attack. And by the way, both teams is kind of shaking their hands in shown some good sportsmanship there but either way hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash that subscribe button and yeah i of course will see you guys next time with another sports hop series episode